Hello, this is Dr. Gandhi. Welcome to my video on conducting the median test using SPSS. The median test is used to compare the medians of two or more variables. And it's considered a non-parametric statistic. In fact, it's a special case of the chi-square test. And like many non-parametric statistics, it does not have a large number of assumptions. To use a median test, the observations need to be independent both within and between samples. And the population distributions from which the samples were drawn should have the same shape. Although the median test is robust against differences in the shapes of the distributions. The median test is also robust against outliers, which is one of the elements I'll demonstrate here. And that's really one of the key strengths of the median test. It has low power when you're analyzing normally distributed variables, but good power when your variables have a high number of outliers. The median test tests the null hypothesis that the medians are equal across the different levels of the independent variable. So taking a look at these fictitious data I have loaded in the data view in SPSS, I have a treatment group. I'll move this back so you can see the labels. So the first one is psychodynamic, then CBT, and then a control group and I have a total of 100 samples, 100 observations. Then I have two variables, improvement one and improvement two. And these two variables are identical with a few exceptions. What I've done for improvement two is in a few cases at the psychodynamic level of the independent variable, I've increased the score when the score was greater than the median. So you can see here in improvement one for case 11, 55, move that to 85. Over here for 14, 65 to 80, and so on. So the number of scores above and below the median are identical for both in improvement one and improvement two. However, there are more outliers in improvement two that are greater than the median. One way to see the differences between improvement one and improvement two would be to go to transform compute variable. I'm just gonna call this variable difference. I'm gonna create a new variable, target variable difference. And it's gonna be equal to in this case, improvement two minus improvement one. Then moving back to the data view, you can see that for the majority of the scores, there is no difference. And for just seven cases, uh, there's a substantial difference between the score reported in improvement one and the score report for improvement two. So to perform the median test, I'm going to go to analyze and then non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues, and then K independent samples. This is what the dialog looks like by default. The grouping variable will be the treatment group. And we're going to need to define the range I know psychodynamic is zero, CBT is one, and control is two. So the range will go from a minimum of zero to a maximum of two. I'm going to uncheck Kruskal Wallace H test and then check median. And I'm going to move improvement one and improvement two over to the test variable list, list box. And then in the options, I'm going to add descriptive. So then I'm going to click OK to run the median test. We can see it provides the descriptive statistics. 
and the frequencies and then the test statistics. So if we want to see this graphically we can double click in frequencies and highlight the content of this table and then right click create graph bar graph and we can see the bar graphs broken down here in terms of improvement one and uh, improvement two greater than the median and less than or equal to the median and of course all three levels of the independent variable are here on this bar graph and it's fairly clear looking at the output that the psychodynamic group did not seem to fare as well uh, based on the scores relationship to the median so you had 23 uh, scores that were greater than the median for improvement one and for improvement two uh, whereas there's only 12 scores greater than the median for CBT and 15 for the control group then moving down to test statistics we can see here that the findings were statistically significant the p-value is 0 0.018 which is lower than the alpha of 0 0.05 but notice for improvement 2 right, the other variable it's the same result so changing these values making these scores greater in these seven cases had no impact on the result of the median test and even if I were to increase the scores in improvement 2 to a much higher level say I move these all to 200 all seven cases and then I'll recompute difference And it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite the existing variable here, which I do. We can see now much larger differences. If I go back to analyze, non-parametric test, legacy dialogues, k-independent samples, I'm going to run the exact same test. You see I have the same result. See that outliers have no effect on the median test. What has an impact on the median test is the number of scores above the median and less than or equal to the median. It doesn't matter how great the difference is, just that the score is either greater than the median or less than or equal to the median. I also want to show you the other way to run the median test we go to analyze non-parametric tests you can go to independent samples instead of going to legacy dialogues go to independent samples and under fields move improvement one improvement two over to test fields treatment group down to groups then under settings by default it will automatically choose the test you want to customize the test and select median test. Click run. So you can see the output is configured differently using this method, but the results are the same. The p-value is still 0 0.018. But you can see the null hypothesis is stated for both variables. So the medians of improvement one are the same across categories of treatment group. And of course, in this case, we reject the null hypothesis we assume that they're not the same and similarly for improvement two uh, the null hypothesis is that the medians are the same across the the levels of the independent variable and again we reject the null hypothesis we have the same p-value for both and both p-values are less than 0 0.05 i hope you found this video on conducting the median test in spss to be useful as always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.